Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an error code 1053. The service did not respond to the start or control request in a timely fashion. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve it. Now, I'm on Windows 11 for today's tutorial, but this tutorial will work for any Windows device between Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. So this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, and let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search icon. Search for regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right-click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All. And then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import in back from this backup, all you'd have to do is select File and then Import. And navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the System folder. Locate current control set and go ahead and double click on that. Should be a control folder in here, so go ahead and just left click on that one time. If you need to take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under up to this point. So if you need to take a moment and just pause the video, you can. Otherwise, on the right side now, we're going to right click in a blank area. Select New and then select DWORD 32 bit value. They're going to call this value Services. Pipe, P-I-P-E, timeout, T-I-M-E-O-U-T. All one word here. First letter of each word should be capitalized as you see it on my screen. So again, services, pipe, timeout. I'll make the column a little bit wider here as well. And now you want to double click on this value that we just created. And you want to type in the number 18,000. So type in 18000. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen here. And then you want to select OK. Once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. So hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. If not, we're going to do a couple more things here. First thing we'll do is open up the search menu, type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I will have two commands in the description of my video. The first one is an SFC scan now command, the system file checker utility. So go ahead and copy that first one and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that one's done, we're going to run the second command. I'm going to have it in the description of the video, so go ahead and copy that and paste that one in here as well. And then hit enter. Okay, so this is the operation completed successfully. Go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. So there you go guys, hopefully that was able to resolve your service and not respond to the starter or control request error. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.